So, in this video, we're going to go through the song As the Deer. And this part, we're going to go through and we're going to learn just the vocabulary. We're going to learn the words that need to go through in the song to go along with them, okay? If you've done this with me lots of times before, this next little speech and spiel, you will have heard it, well, however many times you've watched me, which may be lots. But it's a, it's a point that I really focus on every year, and that is, as you learn these signs, do not learn them words at a time. Learn them sentences at a time. And there's a really good reason for that. We don't speak in words. We use words to create sentences. And you can hear the difference when I make a sentence. You can see the difference when you sign a sentence. Okay? So, as you're going through these things, make sure that you're, you're looking at it and you're signing it as a sentence. So, don't practice like flashcards as, or as, or as, uh, the, or leave it out, dear, you know. Don't you may don't want to do that with flashcards. Take an entire sentence and say, as the deer pants for the water, and consider that like one sign. All right, enough preaching on that. Here's the song. As the deer pants for the water. Okay, as. This is a like thing. All right? And so we're going to do same as. All right. So when the deaf want to do, you know, two things are the same, they're the same. Okay. We're going to pretend there's a deer over there somewhere, and we're going to go just like the deer. Okay. Make two, three hands. Give yourself some horns, and kind of you're a big buck or a big doe. Okay. Big old rack. So, as the deer, as the deer, and we leave out words like the and a and an and as, and little bitty two-letter words, often, most of the time, is completely left out, because uh, they're just connective for English. In sign language, it's not English. It is, it's a language. Different discussion. So, as the deer pants for the water, Pants. Now, if we really wanted to do this literally, we would go, <laughs> I don't think that is the picture that uh, the author of this song wanted to have in your mind. I'm going to cite it as thirst. You know that dry feeling? You, it needs something to drink. Thirst. Four, just point your finger to your head and then kind of rotate your wrist. A little sideways. It's a simple movement. The water, leave out the water. All right. So that of the sentence is, as the deer pants for the water, so... So is one of those interesting words. It has no definition of its own. It's defined purely by where it lands in literature. In this case, it means the same as, or just like as. I could say, as the deer pants for the water, as my soul longs after you. Same. My soul, my is an open palm pressed to your chest, okay? In sign language, pronouns are the easiest ones to know. We already know them. We know them as kids and as babies almost. Uh, where's mommy? Over there, okay? A finger is a pronoun. You, me, it, uh, he, she, uh, all those pronouns. Pointing at them. If you want to make it possessive, it's exactly the same thing, only instead of a finger, it is a thumb. Yours, 
mine, it's, his, hers. If it's God, it's his. Okay? It's a directional sign. And so a finger for non-personal, for personal pronoun, and for possessive pronoun, it would be an open palm. So that's a lot of, a lot of words for the word sign, for the sign mine. Okay? My soul, and you make like a little F hand, and you make another little F hand, and it's like you're sewing. Okay? So, long is after you. All right, again, what did I do there? Long. This is a sign for want. You know, uh, you want some water? Okay, this is want. This is want. This is longing. Okay, you might even get your knees into it. Long. Uh, long after you, after. It's not coming after, it is I am longing for you. Okay? Uh, it's just English is a weird way of using words in a weird way. Uh, you know, something, if something is pretty ugly, well, is it pretty or is it ugly? I, you know, <laughs> English is a weird language. But anyway, after you. So, after you, for you. So, like the deer pants for the water, like me, soul, long for you. Okay? See what the author of the song has done there? He's kind of connected them together. You, again, that personal pronoun, and since we're talking about God, and God lives upstairs, you, alone, show me your knuckle, then show me the back of your knuckles, and drop down a little bit, and make it a fluid movement, alone, R, and that's the letter R coming off the chin, and this is where I start to use pigeon, okay, the, the deaf person probably wouldn't even have the word R in there. You alone, and if you won't leave it out, you can. My heart, and there's a lot of different ways to do heart. Okay, this is heart. I just make a little circle and touch the heart with this finger. This finger, if you see it doing something, is generally an emotional thing. You know, excited, down, feeling good. Uh, pity, you know, those kind of things, emotional things, have that finger out. And so the heart being the center of emotion uh, in uh, Western society, uh, it's a little circle and touch where your heart is. Other people do it as a heart, like a valentine. I've seen it both ways. Desire. Longs and desire the same sign. It's want. Okay? And it's an open palm pointing to the left if you're right handed. And you just kind of bring you know, all your fingers together. I, personal pronoun, long. Boy, we get to use that sign a lot. To worship you. Worship. And I make sure I get my head down in there. You know, it's not just worship. It's worship. Okay? You. You alone are my, all these times we've seen before already, strength. 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 And I don't know how to describe that. Just, I'm. Um, Strong, okay? Strength. My shield. Okay, the pans are right here, and here's your shield, right? You're, you've seen enough old Roman uh, gladiator movies, you know, that's your shield. Alright? Left hand is setting the stage, right hand is making this shield in front of it. 
to you alone may my spirit yield to you alone may as two yes hands coming down my spirit and soul are the same sign spirit, spirit yield I give up you know give me all your money I give up <laughs> yield I yield all right you alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you I want you and make sure when you're talking about God and you're pointing up there that you're looking at him at this point in your song you're actually talking to him so look at him right I want you more uh, this is one of the first signs little babies learn I think is more and please and all done uh, those are the signs I see most with when the moms are teaching the kids who can't even talk yet how to sign but more okay more than just have your fingers out here and pretend your fingernails were bad and give them a little slap more than gold or silver gold you point to the top of the ear and come out into a Y hand silver you point to the bottom of the ear and come out to a wide hand okay so you alone I, I want you more than gold or silver and you can leave the word or out okay you don't need to have it in there gold and silver gold or silver doesn't matter right uh, only you can satisfy only now only and lonely and alone all the same sign only you can can and may same sign all right satisfy just simply come to your chest like that you alone are and you can leave the word are out if you wish the real joy giver and the apple of my eye all right you alone are the real this is a sign for truly truth truly i say to you uh really i say to you really you are the joy and i tell you that center finger joy giver it's two hooks you're going to hook into it and you're going to bring it to yourself. You're going to give it to yourself. Give her. And anytime you see this at the end of the sign, it makes, this is a sign for give. You put this at the end of it and it's a person who gives. So you are a giver, a person who gives, real joy giver, and the apple. Make an X finger and just a little bit twist, twist apple of my eye and this we're going to sign literally this is actually a uh, quote from the old testament where someone is referred to as an apple of their eye and it's just a phrase meaning you know you're the bee's knees <laughs> you're you're uh, whatever phrase you use to say you're all right all right and then we have the course again you alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. All right, there's the vocabulary for as the deer. Spend some time with this. Get your hands trained, and <clears throat> work through these things as sentences. And if you get the sentences down, work out into two sentences and then four sentences. It will also help you when you're interpreting because your mind won't have to be thinking of the next word. All right? You'll go, as, okay, and then your mind knows how to sign the rest of it. So, my own, then your sign, you know how to sign the rest of it. Anyway, uh, tricks of dream. 
Looking forward to seeing you there at LTC. Uh, again, if you have questions, don't hesitate to send me an email. Find me at ltcsw.org, and I will respond to you. All right. Thank you, and good luck.